Okay, so right now I'm showing you guys how to build a uh, Venturi. Um, so it's quite simple. Uh, this is a one inch, uh, one one and one fourth inch pipe. This is a one inch pipe, but it's a thin one. What I do is I cut about was this four, uh, three inch, three or four inch off the one and one fourth pipe. And then I sand this down. So this is a one and one fourth T, but you see the T is a long loop. So what we do is I'll cut about, also about five inch of this uh, one inch pipe here. What I do is I put this in here. You see that? Put it in like this. I use this glue. And then, you know, I glue it in so you can see there's a trace of glue there and there's a trace of glue inside. So it's about right here. You put it, you put it into here like that. You end up having, getting this, okay? The reason I sand down the tip of the one and one fourth, so the one and one fourth will actually fit inside this T here. See inside? See the inside? Okay, so the one fourth, will, so this will fit inside the T, and from this T, from this here is actually my uh, my one and one half inch pipe that from the pump will go into here. So, so this is pretty much the uh, venturi that I built. It's really really sim uh, simple, and it's really effective. So what we did, we cut about a four inch three or four inch of the one and one fourth we sand this down here this part here we sand it down cut about a five inch of the one inch five inch of the uh, one inch pipe right here we push it in to here we glue this part right here so we have this as a result okay we buy a one and one four T this is like three or four dollars. This stuff is really cheap. It comes up to be like five or six dollar max. And then we, so what we do is that because we sand the tip here, it will fit inside the T like this. And you see from the hole here, I'm gonna show you the hole. There you go. So when the uh, wa the water, when it push, it will flow from here, it will flow in here. So it'll flow from this way, but while doing that though, it sucked the air from up here on top and it mix it with the water. Therefore, you have free oxygen. So this is the Van Venturi that I built. Uh, if you guys have more questions, let me know. And I'm about to put this, uh, connect this into the pipe, the pipe. And then uh, I'll show you guys some more, okay? I'll be right back. So this was, it will look like when it's connected to the pump. So I, I put it in. So this is the next step. So this is what it will look like when this pipe here, this two pipe here, connect to the pump. So this pipe, this uh, one half inch here leads straight to the pump. So the pump will pop up here and push us out. Next step. Okay, so the next step, I get a few inch of the one and a half inch here, and then I connect it to this T, then connect to this uh, uh, 90 elbow. So this is the complete venturi. Remember though, the pipe that we'd made, the two pipe that we made, can go in here. So when it pushed the, the water from the pump, air gets sucked in here, mix with the water, and then it will push down all the way down to my tank and then the, the air will rise up and the, uh, the, the water will rise and the air will rise up. So that's the, what it is with the Venturi. It's very simple, very uh, cheap, and very efficient. So let me connect them up, show you how it's going to look, okay? Okay, the complete Venturi system. So pump line right here is here so this is our one and one fourth inch grind down 
this is RT. This is uh, about five inch. Uh, the one and a half connect to this. This is the elbow. This here is going to be all the way down. This pipe will go all the way down. So when we turn it on, the water will pump in here, air sucked into here, mix with the water, push all the way down, then it has to go up. So you will see the bubbles will actually rise up. So let me check this out here. this out here so we have a clear view when I turn up the pump turn up turn on uh, turn on the pump so okay so this is what it will look look like very very simple very very cheap so be right back okay it's on look at all that bubbles And if I put it, uh, if I put my hand in here, I can feel that my hand's being sucked in because it's sucking in the water. In here too. I put my hand in here and feel it sucking in. You hear all that uh, gurgling? That because it's, it's sucking in the air. So it's sucking the air, it's mixing the air with the water. So guess what? All of this are free. I don't need no air pump or anything like that. See this? So it pushes down. See all the bubbles? If I push this down here, it's all bubbles. Yep. So that's how I built my simple Venturi system. And it's really simple as you see the recording that I made. So, if you guys have any more questions, let me know. But this is the Ben Tree. Thank you guys. And uh, my next uh, my next clip will be about a skimmer. I, I built a, a pond skimmer. Um, it's really cool because it float and it's it is spin. It's spin around too. So I have to show show you that the next time the process of me built uh, build it and um, you guys can see that it's really simple too and and fun actually okay so I'll have to let you guys go see, look at all that bubble I just clean out my um, my uh, filter so it's gonna get a while so we're not trying to fill up this tank here and I'll flow. Yeah. And there it is. So now I have four pump. Every pump is connect to a uh, venturi. So there you guys go. That is my uh, how I fill up my pond right there because I just cleaned my uh, pond my uh, my tank here. So um, I lost a few about maybe five percent of the, uh, the water or less. So usually I do a few once a week, so I should fill back up the tap water. Of course, I have to use some some, uh, some stuff to make the tap tap clear, but uh, safe for the fish. But some easy, easy, easy stuff. So here it is, guys. Here is the venture. I uh, just built one more. So now I should have four. You guys have a good day. Have any question or concern? Let me know. Uh, hit like and subscribe. Thank you guys.